This is the final stage of my safe project where I replace the base. First, what I'm going to do is take an old piece of cloth and put it inside. I do that just in case some of the concrete drips. Second, what I've done is I put a piece of metal in. I just salvaged an old sign and uh, put the metal in. Under the metal, I put a line of regular window and siding caulk to prevent the uh, concrete slurry mix from dripping in. Next, what I'm going to do is start ladling in my concrete. I want the concrete to push uh, up under the sides best as I can, so I'm going to ladle it in one, one little thing at a time. I made it a little bit wetter than I probably should have, but I do want it to go back up under the sides. It needs to move up under those edges so that I can put my mesh in there. Then I take the mesh, add reinforcement, you can use concrete rebar, you could use old spoons, knives, and forks if you wanted to, anything, but just put, make sure you put something in there that will provide some reinforcement to that concrete. I made two pieces so I could slide them back. And after that, I'll continue to ladle. My concrete slurry mix on top. To finish the cover. sure you push that and tuck it back up underneath. And when I'm done with it, I'll put my initials in or maybe the date or maybe a cattle brand. Heck, I don't know what I'll put there. But I always like to write something in the bottom of the concrete, leave my signature in some way. And that's just about it. It isn't that much complicated. You fill it in, let it dry, and I'm going to put a wet cloth over the top of this to uh, make sure it retards drying so the cement dries a little bit slower and gives you a better mix. I may have to get a little bit of extra concrete here to get them dry toward the bottom. And that's pretty much it. That's the end of the project. Put your initials in, lay a wet cloth over the top, and there you have it. You've redone your safe. <laughs>